Speaker, I would like to offer amendment ending in point 02H. It has been distributed and moved for its adoption. The gentleman from St. Louis County has moved for the adoption of House Amendment 1. Gentleman from St. Louis County. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A bill of this magnitude, which will affect every working person in Missouri, everybody who makes a paycheck like I do, union and non-union alike, deserves to go to the vote of the people. I've heard the arguments that uh, the will of the people was in this last election. Well, that, that wasn't the only issue people ran on. They ran on not doing business as usual, and this is doing business as usual. This is having one person uh, give $14.5 million on one issue to bring this, bring this to the state and, and force his will on the rest of the state. So I would see no reason why uh, we, we, should bring the, we should bring this to the vote of the people. It should be their decision, not this small body of elected officials. Uh, a little bit about myself, so I want to clear it up. I am a union member. I've been a 30-year member of Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Local 562. I'm a proud union member. Uh, my union has done a lot of good things for the community. It's done, it's done great things for my family. It's allowed me to live in dignity, and, it, and it's allowed others to do that too. And that's what unions do for people. They offer them, we, we get health care. We, we, we get a, a security in our retirement, things of that nature. A lot of those things will disappear. In right-to-work states, that's what happens. You know, uh, we, uh, the quote goes, we work for less. You know, you got the right to work for less. Uh, any economic development that, that starts with, well, if people just made less money, then they don't then work. I, I, I find that to be disingenuous. Uh, I uh, also, wanted to, also wanted to say, I got, this is my first time, so, you know, I'm a little nervous, so. Um, probably not supposed to say that. <clears throat> but I'd also like to say, you know, that this isn't disingenuous. This is not a vote of the, the people are not asking for this. When I went around to people doors, just like all you did, I didn't hear anybody saying that they want to make $4,000 less and they need less health care. I didn't see that happening. I didn't see that coming. Unions wa wa raise the wages for everybody in the state. And, and, and that's the case. This, all this does is tilt the balance more in favor of the CEOs, the one or two or three people that are pushing this. I, you know, and, uh, and to me, I just, I just, I don't understand that philosophy. You know, uh, I've heard, I've been called a union thug. I've been called these, all these things and I hear about how our union bosses, we're a duly elected body of people, by, you know, in a union. You have a right to elect your, your leadership. But that's what happens there. It's a democracy, you know. So, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of things. I can give you statistics all over the place. We all know what it's like. Drive through Arkansas. The governor said yesterday that Arkansas is a great state. We should aspire to be Arkansas. That's ridiculous. Drive through Arkansas. You can see it. You know, it's, it's common sense things. You know, nobody aspires to be Mississippi. Okay. I, I'm sorry. With that, I renew my motion. I also would like to have five people stand for a uh, roll call vote. You have five members standing, gentlemen. You will have your roll call. 